EasyDriver is a free Blender extension that makes setting up drivers easy, exactly as the name suggests. This add-on is part of the Blender Extensions platform, which means that all you have to do to install it is to go to Edit Preferences, Get Extensions, search for Easy Driver, and click Install. If you need to learn the basics of setting up drivers manually, check out my free course Rigging Isn't Scary, but here is how to do it with the add-on. A common use case of drivers is to automate a corrective shape key. So when I bend this arm, I have created a shape key to make the deformation a little bit nicer. So now we want to trigger it by rotating this bone, but we don't want it to start right away. So I'll rotate the bone to around here and then go to Easy Driver, which is under the rigging tab and click Record Min and then rotate the arm all the way to its maximum position and record max. And the add-on figured out that I'm using X rotation. For targets, I'm going to go to shape keys, set the object to my mesh and the shape key to key one, which I should have named more descriptively. But anyway, I'll click the add button and now I'm ready to create the driver. Just click on create driver. And now rotating this arm to around here won't do anything, but as I keep rotating, it will trigger the shape key. As you can see, the shape key is almost set to one here. And if I rotate the arm back, it will be at a lower value. So automation done. Here is a similar example, but this time we'll be using bones instead of shape keys. And you'll see how you can set up multiple driven bones at the same time. I'll click the dustbin icon to reset all sources and targets that I set up previously, and I'll start a new. So this will be my start point. I'll record min and then rotate the arm all the way and record max. And now I want this elbow bone to rotate with the lower arm. So I'm going to go to pose and click record min pose and then rotate this bone on the Z axis like this and record max pose. So that will automate the Z rotation of this bone. And I'll also select this bone, which controls the bicep record min pose, move it a bit on its local Y axis and record max pose. And then I can just create the drivers. And here is our automation. Something I wish I could do is to automate the scaling of the bone as well, but currently that is not possible using a pose target. It can be done with the custom paths targets, which I'll explain at the end of the video. Easy Driver can really speed up setting up a shape key based face rig. I'm going to show you how in a second, but before that, a couple of warnings when working with a more complex rig. Here I have a rig with an IK FK switch. And so to make sure that my elbow fix shape key works in both IK and FK mode, I should place the driver on the MCH bone, which switches between IK and FK. But with this add-on, it's not really possible to do directly. So here is what you can do instead. I'll switch to FK mode. Rotate the arm to the start position. Go to easy driver, record min, and then rotate the arm all the way in and record max. Then go to shape keys, Set the object as body and the shape key as elbow fix and edit. And now create the driver. So this is going to work, but only in FK mode. So I have to select my MCH lower arm and copy its name, then go to the driver, edit it, and just replace the bone with the name I just copied. Now the shape key will work in both FK and IK mode. And another big warning, be careful with this remove drivers button. If you click it, that will remove all drivers on your rig, not just the ones that you set up with the add-on. Okay, now let's work on facial rigging. I already have my shape keys and all of the control bones.
So I can go to Easy Driver, select this bone for example, record min, then move the bone down and record max. Go to Shape Keys, choose my head object, and the eyes closed.l shape key, edit and create the driver. And here is a super cool feature. Let's go to bone constraints and click the lock to one axis button. And that will set up a limit location constraint set up exactly as we need it. All axes are fully locked except for the Y axis, which can only reach to the closed position. The only thing that the add-on doesn't do is enable effect transform. I would definitely recommend having this enabled. And also what I wish is that it would also lock the transforms, but otherwise it's a really cool functionality. Now let's set up this control, which is a little bit more difficult. I'll erase everything, select this control, record min, move it on the X axis, record max. Here I could press fine tune and set up my max value to an exact value like 0.008. Then choose the shape key that I want to drive, which is mouth wide, add and create driver. Okay, now I want to also set smile to the up movement and frown to down movement. So I'll erase everything, record min, move the control up, record max, fine tune if I need to. Set up my shape key, add, create driver. And finally, the frown, record min, move down, record max, fine tune. Choose shape key, add, create. For these complex drivers, the add-on cannot lock all the axes automatically, but I can click lock record it. And then I'll enable everything. Now this bone can only move down. So I also have to set minimum to 0 0.008 and X also to about 008. One final feature request for me would be the ability to mirror these shape keys. So if I could just set up this one and then click a button and have this one set up automatically, that would be amazing. You can also create drivers for custom paths. These are properties that are not post bones or shape keys, which the add-on has dedicated functionality for. So for example, we can tweak material properties. I want to set up a driver for the metallic property of this material, and I'll be driving it with this empty. So I'll record min, move the empty up and record max. Then select the monkey and click on this eyedropper. Now we are not going to click on any objects. Instead, I just need to tweak a value and the add-on will copy the data path of that value into the path field. Now I just need to press add and create driver and now moving this empty up and down will control the metallic property. I could also affect the visibility of the monkey. So let's erase everything, record min and then let's say that moving the empty to around here will make the monkey disappear. So I'll record max, click the eyedropper and then hide Suzanne and then unhide it again and I'll have the correct data path. I'll edit. I'll do the same for the rendering property and edit as well and create a driver. Now when the empty reaches this position, the object will disappear. So you can create these visibility switches. Something else I tested was controlling the transform channels of objects and it worked, but not exactly as I expected. Let's say that by rotating this empty, I want the monkey to rotate in the opposite direction. So let's record min and then rotate the empty and record max. And then I'll use the eyedropper and rotate the monkey. So the atom did pick up a path, but it's not exactly what I wanted. I need to add one in square brackets like this and then edit and create a driver. And now it's going to work. So a more direct way to do this is to right click on the Y rotation property and copy full data path. And then go to the add-on and just paste this path. That is what the add-on actually does when you use the eyedropper. So I very easily created this material control, visibility control and rotation control. This is a really useful and well-designed add-on. Give it a go when working with drivers.